Hey guys, it's Randy here at eTrailer.com. Today we're taking a look at something that I really like. This is the convertible cushioned ball mount. So essentially it's gonna be just like any standard ball mount, but they've built cushion into the shank. Your pinhole's gonna go, we've got a cutaway here actually as an example. You can see the pinhole's gonna be located in a cutaway. That's a steel block, which you can see right here. The elongated hole allows that to move forward and back slightly. That's where we get that cushion effect. So as we accelerate, we're gonna pull away. We've got our cushion here. And then as we hit our brakes, it's gonna go the other way. You can see our cushion here. Now these really make a world of difference when it comes to towing. As far as being a ball mount, it does a great job at that. But where the biggest difference is, is the comfort that you feel inside. As you take off, you don't feel it chunk back. As you slow down, you don't feel it chunk forward. And you really don't hear any of the rattling and stuff that's generally associated with hauling a trailer. I've used a lot of these in a lot of different configurations, different drops. I've used even a rise on a van to get up and get it high enough. And in the two and a half inch variety, and they all perform exactly the same. They really give you that, that superior ride comfort and in working with customers, I hear it all the time. I wish I would have known about this sooner. This has really changed my towing experience. Um, one guy even mentioned he got rid of every ball mount he had and switched them over to these because it's just that much more enjoyable as you're using them. Now, if you're getting a brand new ball mount set up, a couple things to keep in mind. You need to purchase the appropriate sized ball for your coupler to fit into the ball mount. And you will need to provide your own pin and clip. If you're using an old ball mount, or maybe you're going to replace some of the ball mounts that you've got because you're getting kind of annoyed with them and going with these, your standard pin and clip is going to work just fine. And as long as it's a one inch diameter shank on your ball, it should fit right down in there and you'll be able to reuse that as well. Now there's another style of this that's out there and available. It's not a cushion ball mount. You don't necessarily have the cushion in the shank, but what you do is you'll use a standard ball mount, then you add the Kurt rocker ball to it that has a pivot point that allows that ball to move forward and back slightly. I've got to be honest, I've been working with that one for about the last week and I've known of this one and I wanted to bring this one back out and kind of do a refresh video on it to get you guys kind of up to date with the options that you've got. And I would definitely, definitely recommend the converter ball over the rocker ball. This one just seems to be a little bit more effective than what the other one is. Another advantage that the converter ball has, other than being a little bit better at doing what it does in the rocker ball, is that you can pick the correct drop and it's going to match because we're going to use a standard ball. With the rocker ball, it adds about an inch and a half of height to your ball. So you have to get a drop that's a little bit further down than what you would normally have. That can sometimes bring this down an inch and a half is what it is. So it'll bring this down about an inch and a half lower and it could cause you issues with ground clearance. Also with these bumpers in place, essentially we're going to take a lot of that stress off of our truck's components. So as we hit the brakes and this wants to slide forward because our trailer pushes it, we're not getting all that wear and tear on our pinhole on our hitch which transfers right into the frame which we feel. Then under acceleration as we pull away this was going to want to come back this way a little bit. We're not transferring all that dragging force again back through the frame. Overall, it's just going to help us out, make us more comfortable, and make sure our truck lasts a little bit longer. All right, guys, we've come in out of the cold. We want to go over some of the specifications. There's a lot of different models to choose from, just depending on your application. So whatever your situation is, there should be one of these cushion ball mounts to fit that for you. We'll start by talking about the standard 2-inch model. Well, actually, we can talk about all three of them. They're all rated for a 2,000 pound maximum tongue weight rating. That's the maximum downward force we can put on our ball. Now, going to the standard two inch model, all the way up to eight inches a drop, it offers a 10,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. It's the total weight of your trailer and anything that you load up on it. Once you get past eight inches of drop, there's a 10 inch drop model. It's rated for 8,000 pounds. Then there's a 12 inch model that's gonna be rated for 7,000 pounds. Once they get down that long, you can understand. You don't wanna to put too much pressure on them. Then we can go from there into the heavy duty two inch by two inch version. Gonna fit into the two inch by two inch receiver tube opening. And all of these are gonna be rated for 14,000 pounds of gross trailer weight rating. So you can see here a much thicker base that goes around the bottom there. 
And compared to our standard model that has the one inch hole diameter for the ball shank, this one's gonna have an inch and a quarter. So we pick up about 4,000 pounds of gross trailer weight rating there by using that larger shank ball and having that additional reinforcement. And when looking at our two and a half inch model, this one goes up to 18,000 pounds of gross trailer weight. And it's also gonna use the larger inch and a quarter ball shank. You can see that base is much thicker than what we see out of the standard. Still gonna have that same reinforcement that we see on all of them. That really helps to reduce any of the, the flex that we get here. That can sometimes cause damage to those welds. So, so as you can see, we've got lots of different options for lots of different applications. We certainly should have something that's gonna fit the bill for you. So guys, if you haven't already figured it out, this really is one of my favorite ball mounts. I have a couple of them and I think anybody that hauls a trailer, even semi-often up to regular use, can definitely benefit from just the comfort that we, ex we experience inside, but also some of the benefits that we have of not transferring all that energy directly into our truck and our suspension system as we travel.